Welcome to Power Rangers Playback Amateur Toy Review. <laughs> guys, we wanted to bring you guys um, some of our own point of views on some of the Power Ranger toys, and we'll probably expand into other ones as well. So yeah. we're going to start with ours. Zeo Ranger One Pink. Yes. <laughs> Bandai versus Bandai. guys mm -hmm. now I just have to say thank you to the fans who always give me presents because I wouldn't have half of these things if it wasn't for our fans you know we get a lot of this stuff given to us at uh, conventions so this was the little plastic guy I, it's missing its weapons yeah they must yeah. have fallen off so yeah. there, there's so many different figures back in the the 90s so this is one of the 90s figures right yes and Bandai made the toys for Power Rangers for many many years it's now owned by Hasbro, as m most of you probably know. And the figures have changed quite a bit. As you can see, I'm quite square mm -hmm. with some quite broad shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I can, I think they bend. Yeah, the arms did bend. They do. Yes. Do I? They I bend at the, the wrist, they bend at the shoulder. Yes. And the legs and do as well. And you may notice not a lot of um, breast tissue on this, uh, this little figure. Not that you were trying to <laughs> check out the breast, but um, yeah. You do know that when we did put on the suits, which this would imitate, they were Japanese men in the suits. Yes. So all of them were suits. So maybe that's how they yes. um, imitated this one. So let's see. They have they, they did a good job on this with the intricacy of the of the Zio print. Because sometimes I've noticed, like in the new um, lightning figure, they for space they missed some details, and the fans caught that that they missed some pretty significant details on some of the newer toys. Yeah. But this one, they did a good job. Looks and this one like... is actually shaped like a woman as opposed to is uh, it? the little head. It's, it's shaped is a it little bit a... more, with the exception of the, the boobish area. It is shaped more like a woman than the other figures that we had with the, the micro heads and the huge bodies. bodies. Yeah. Yes, we'll she have to get to that one at yes, some point. Yes, we will. All right. Okay, now this one was our flip head Zio. So it, this was my my Megazord, and then and I was the leg, but then it opens and um, come on, amateur, okay. how do you open it? Oh, I did it! <laughs> or did Show I? them how you opened it. Okay, it it, slot, it opens. Well, you don't break it uh, in half. It's like it splits in it, the middle. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> this goes down somehow. Oh look! Okay, that goes in, then that goes up. So my head's in now. Is that it? Does the head pop out? The head pops out. But then these are the arms. Oh gosh, now I've stuck. So this is really there. funny because these are back in the nineties. I feel like some of the the newer ones um, are a lot more flexible. I could I, be wrong. Now I'm wondering here if this is from the Megazord. If this is the, from the actual Megazord. So the, that would be the very big Megazord. Yes. I actually have the very big Megazord We will do upstairs. a review on that. So um, she has come into two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> we, need to, we need to put the leg back together so that would we can like form the leg Megazord. Look, look. Mm, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's drunk. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can combine them back together by pressing so they can see uh, pressing oh, the good head job. you well, did it i did and so then the leg but see here's look at because of the roundness here in the front you can't bring the arms up they're oh, like oh no well that's she's not much well, good if she can't move her arms how are you going to it's like wait, uh, yeah right? she's, let me shoot you yeah what's she gonna do she needs her other zeo team oh, to help her that arm oh raised. that looks like a cannon now yes Ooh. So this is the front with the back. You have a very big circle there, a very big belly. Yes, that's my Zord. That is your Zord. This is the We were the legs. Zio. Yes. So basically they couldn't walk without us. No, they couldn't. No. They Just like many, men. many men cannot walk without a woman. In well, their life. <laughs> they can't be born without us. That's so <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Good old Bandai. All, All right, right, what do we got next? All right. 1990. Let's look at this one here. 
right, so this was the Zeo Ranger 1 shield of spinning action figure. Oh. So I had a shield, that was one of my weapons, and I could spin it, apparently. Did you spin it like Wonder Woman? No, like, it would, like that. So you would just hold your hand up and just be like, spin! <laughs> and it was just... I don't even know if I said spin. <laughs> I think it just had a mind of its own. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, again, we had stunt guys and a lot of, well, all of the time that you saw us fighting in our suits, those were Japanese men. So we really never held on to these weapons. And a lot of us really never learned about them because we never had to, to hold them, you know? So it says on the back here that if I can read it with my old <laughs> eyes, I normally would have my glasses for an occasion like this. Yes. Um, ordinary teenagers have chosen to save the world from evil space aliens of the machine empire mm. using special zeonizers they transform into incredible zeo rangers with the ability to summon the mighty zeo zords with all when all else fails the zeo zords join together to form an even more powerful battle machine. Sword. will they be strong enough to save us from the machine queen mm. will they will so they? in this set this particular collection mm -hmm. was obviously all of the Zia Rangers, but this was made before the Gold Ranger. So I guess because he's not in this, uh, the Zio action. Can figures. I see this? Please? Yes, yes, you're we'll right. Show you that. This yeah. is called Shield Spinning Action Zio Ranger One. Right. And on the front, that's why she says that the gold is not included because on the front it only has the five Rangers. It doesn't have the gold. So this yes. is right before the the gold was released. Yes. Show them the back of it. Yes. So it had, in this one, it had the, the Zeo Zords, and then um, it had the, the Evil Drill Master, Quad Fighter, Mechanizer, and the Cogs. Mm. So there you go. Okay. I wonder why they didn't have King Mondo and Queen Machina on this collection. Interesting. So this one didn't have, this one does not have the arms like this little one figure did. So the arms are stiffer on this one. Oh yeah, but yeah. She, she, there's no joints. There's no joints, but she can hold this, the weapons in this hand. Only? Um, on this hand only, and the shield goes in the right hand only. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to look back at this one, because this yes. one has a little grip to it. Um, yeah, where so you can, that had weapons yes, too. Where you can put point. the weapons in, because you can see the little... That one looks there. like it came with something. I bet you that came with, with, uh, as a, with a set or something. I wonder if that was part of a collection as well. Probably. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, and this one does not, you can't take the helmet off. It is, oh goodness, is she doing some gymnastics yes, over there? Yes, I'm gonna have her sit. Sit! I said, stop sit. looking at me. From Turn your head. head. You eyeballing me, girl? <laughs> she would, she was trying to eyeball me. You sit there and work it out. You figure out what you wanna do next. Okay, so and then we've got this one, which is, now these were the same, this was of the same series, mm -hmm. the same collection. This is the Micro Zeo Zord playset. Micro, meaning very small, tiny. Yes. Oh, and how cute. They actually had a little like set for it. Like look, a little docking station. So I'm not gonna open it because this has never been opened. But this little set is a docking station for the Zord, her Zord. Isn't and so that what, cute? what else do we have inside of here? In the micro set. Oh, so this this particular thing is the is docking, the docking station. station. Yeah. Now, what is the docking station? That's where our Zord um, charged up and um, had to be energized by the crystal in order to be powerful and have the power to collaborate with its fellow Zords. <laughs> right. <laughs> why we are well, called the amateurs. It had to go somewhere, yeah. didn't it? Oh, I, you know, this is so, this is so cute. Yeah. Like, oh, what? Look at, oh, there, there it is. King, King, King Mondo. Mondo. King Mondo. King Mondo. King Mondo. It says on the back of what it comes with. So it comes with the, the missiles, the docking station, evil space alien, King Mondo. Yes, missiles. Yes, missiles. Oh, she missiles. Them missiles. <laughs> Missiles. We have the Aussie time. <laughs> um, a launch pad, Zeo Zord One and Zeo Ranger One, and then it had a. Um, it all connects to the Megazord. Okay. Collect them all. It says. Well, I don't think I've ever seen King Mondo. Before. No. Yeah. So there's a little tiny version, and we called him like the can opener because the mm. back of 
the back of him, it's really shaped like a little can opener yes. that you would see at the top. Yes, yes. it is. So this is really cute. Yes. This is really teeny. Now, I, I would like to point out, if your camera can zoom in here, notice there is not gold detail on this Zia Ranger. She's white oh, there. It's supposed to be yeah. gold. In the in the collar area. Yeah, the, like the, on this the gold, one. Um, the little intricacies, the little, where the Egyptian she, feel. I can't find her. My She's hasty right hands. She's can't right find there. So you, as a diff, the difference. See how she has the white with the gold. This one, maybe she was too tiny to figure out how to do to the paint. Gold. Mm -hmm. Excuses. Yes. She yes. could have been painted. She but this have. is, you know, this is a, a, a very nice old mm -hmm. um, Zio toy. Hard to find yeah. ones like this. Very yeah. hard to find. Let's go over to the Zio Jet Cycle. Ooh. Now, Nakia, I'd just like to remind you, she got a little jealous when we were doing an episode review because she's like, why didn't I have a, a motorcycle? When we were opening... Um, our, uh, our, our our boxes, boxes right? Why well, didn't I have one? And then she found one. I did. Yes. I did find this, it. My box, you can see how old this is because the box is all crushed. Look at that. Yes. Oh, it has stickers. Stickers. Look, it has stickers for the Ooh. motorcycle. Oh uh -huh. my gosh, she's going to destroy out. my toys. Here, you want to show, show them the yes. stickers? The stickers are, um, yeah, this must be for the motorcycle decor. That's the old days when we, they actually let us be creative and decorate. So, I am going to say something that I see differently already on this particular one. Look at her skirt. And I will show this up oh. a little bit closer. Her skirt is a different color pink. I think that might be faded over time. It doesn't, it looks like it's a strip that was, that can be oh, yeah. undone, but no, this is, this is the actual you color. Right. Because you are if right. you look at the colors um, of the motorcycle, yeah. Well, the lighter color, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. But the skirt is uh, different. This does have like joint arms so they can bend, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Let me just make some noise for a second. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. okay. So this is the little motorcycle. Little, shall she take look a, at the little kickstand. Shall she, shall she take a ride Let's on the let motorcycle? Let her take a ride on the she motorcycle. She has to bend her legs. Bend bend her legs. Yes. Oh, she has joints, this she one. She does. Oh, so I wonder... Oh. I've made a revelation on the Amateur Hour <laughs> toy review. This is from this toy. Although this one no, doesn't, she have, doesn't a skirt. have a skirt. You are correct. Forget what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, her little feet can go up on the pedals. Her hands here, can- Put it right here so you can see. Clip onto the things there. Uh -oh. There's a kickstand. Just dropping the toys. Look here, I'll hold her. I'll hold her if you can pick up your, your roundness. Oh no. So look at the, the sides here. So the interesting thing is how many versions of this back in the 90s? Yeah. How many toys? So far we've had one, two, three, four, five. Five versions. Um, five versions and there's probably more out there. And there was, I believe there was a large Zio figure. Like I don't have it. There was. there was a large there Zio was. figure. I have a large Zio you figure. One? So six that we can think of from Bandai back in the 1990s. And how popular, when you were growing up, how popular were these toys then versus now? Yeah. Would you say it's about the same? Yeah. I would say it's about the same. I would say same. so. I yeah. Mean, we so I can't get it back together. <laughs> Sorry, cat. That's okay. <laughs> I would say I still sign. Well, probably more of the newer toys, but we still get people bringing these old toys in. Um, and their mothers have kept the boxes. Very smart parents to keep the yeah. packaging. We hear a lot of um, a lot of the fans when they were little, they opened up to their toys. And so they didn't think when they, you know, as, as none Why of us do, you? when yeah. we were little, you open up your toy boxes because you want to play with them. You don't think about, oh my gosh, 20 years from now, this could be worth something. Some have and some haven't, which is very, very interesting. Yes. And last but not least, the new Bandai toy. Yes. <laughs> now this one I was very impressed with, I have to say. What did you think when, you, when this came out? Um, I really like, well, first of all, I was really happy when the, the um, yellow one came out. Um, yeah. Because I feel like mine was probably last, like the Lightning Collection. Um, but I really liked the size. I liked the boxing. Um, I thought that it was, um, it was displayed really well inside of the box. 
Yeah, and I liked that it was a feminine figure because they really just took one mold with the old toys and made it fit for every color. Mm -hmm. There was never any femininity to our toys. Yeah. So I love that she had a feminine figure. Yeah, you're right. You know what? I see exactly what you're, you mean here. If you look at look at this one, that one, and that one, they, there is no boobage. No. In this one, there actually There's is. Boobage. Yeah. Probably a little larger than, than the reality. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yes, and some abs. They, I like that they gave me some abs. Yeah, and but, actually the skirt matches, which yes. makes it even nicer. Yes. And then what do we have over here? Is this the launching pad so again? that's the, yes, that's the launching pad for the Zord. That's the Zord. Well, that's where you're, if you turn it, says, it to the back of them, you can kind of see um, the legs. The, legs. <laughs> the two ladies is the legs and where yes. the, the Red Ranger is and green and blue. Yeah. Um, they have the Black Ranger in this one too. Oh, oh, but that Black Ranger looks different. Yeah. That doesn't look like, that doesn't look like the Gold Ranger. And why don't they have the, the Green Ranger down here? This is in the series. This is in the oh, series that came out, like okay. the Lightning Connection. So that's the Dino Fury. That's yeah. Jason Frank's. Uh, and that's character. a different yellow yeah, as well. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, so. This, was this, this was the collection series that came out together. Yeah. Um, series five. Yeah. Interesting. So they were doing that back with Bandai as well. Because mm -hmm. um, Hasbro does that. They release kind of all over the place. They don't release all of Zeo or all of Mighty Morphin at once. It's like a space, an SPD, a, you know, a monster. You know, it's very interesting how they decide which ones they're going to release. I agree. Yeah. So out of all of your toys that are sitting here right now, which one is your favorite? Well, I think this is the prettiest, but for nostalgia reasons, I love the Jet Cycle. I do too. And you know what? I really like the casing of the Jet Cycles yeah. as well. Um, and I like the fun. box. Yeah, I like the box. I love the displays on the side of what's included inside of the box. And I liked the, um, the, uh, of the stickers. The yeah. Yeah, I just think it's fun. And I can imagine as a kid how fun this would be. I used to love my little action figures as a kid. <laughs> yeah. I think this has got a lot of detail. It's really pretty. I wonder what this retailed for back in the day. Because mm -hmm. it's worth a lot now. Oh, I didn't even realize. Turn it this way. Look at the front of the, the jet cycle. It's her helmet. It's her helmet displayed oh, yeah. in the front. That's oh, really yeah. nice. We didn't use the jet cycles a whole lot on the show. No. Well, there were some... Um, just in watching some of the episodes back, I did see some of the um, our stunt guys, the Japanese footage starting off with some of the jet cycles yeah 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 well there we go everybody yeah. tell us we'd love to hear in the comments what your favorite pink ranger toy was from your childhood please yes. let us know we'd love to hear and if there's a uh, a certain toy you'd like us to review please let us let us know and we'll do what we can yeah thank you for joining us bye and a special shout out to our platinum gold and diamond members thank you to all of our members don't forget to click and subscribe and tap that notification button.